A belt sewer pipe in the central business district of Bulawayo caught the eye of residents who have often criticized the city council for poor service delivery. The pest, which got worse every minute, did not only offend people by the foul smell, but some people had to jump the pool of dirty water to get to the pavement. Some of the residents who passed through the affected pavement said residents are in danger of contracting waterborne diseases. They said the bursting of the sewer is a huge embarrassment to the city of Bulawayo, which was once upon a time regarded as one of the cleanest cities in southern Africa. Something so embarrassing just happened. Uh, because we were in the middle of town, I think so unhygienic. And the fact that in the middle of town, it's a cause of concern. I really don't know what people can do about it. Probably a petition they are talking and let things like this just happen like from nowhere. So yeah, I think I'm very disappointed oh, that with this the city council. This is no Some deal. things they have to check every day. Experts and local government in the city have told this reporter that wheels are already in motion, that councils around the country are restored to their statuses, and that investors are not scared away by the high risk of contracting waterborne diseases such as cholera, typhoid, bilharzia, among others. Mr. Anile Dube, a local government activist, said he is part of such a campaign that will see city councils having executive authority in all its affairs. That is a sign of a and very old uh, sewer system and uh, also a sign of lack of planning by the government because it didn't replace the sewer system. And as activists, we are actually advocating for a devolved system in which resources will therefore be channeled toward uh, addressing such kind of issues. Activists blame the decay in service delivery to years of corruption and mismanagement by the ZANU PF led government. Ironically, government blames the collapse to the so-called Western sanctions imposed in the country in 2002 as retaliation to the land reform program. Mtogozi Sindebele reporting for the Kora Mobile Reporters Network in Bulawayo.